Hello horror fans and welcome to the very first episode. Today we are here in St. Cloud, Florida where we're going to be tracking down the filming locations from the 1964 horror cult classic 2000 Maniacs directed by Herschel Gordon Lewis. You guys are going to tag along with me. We're going to find the filming locations for 2000 Maniacs right now. In reality, this is St. Cloud, Florida, but back in 1964, this was the weird town of Pleasant Valley. I wonder if people know that the Hunter Arms Hotel is the filming location for one of the most influential horror films from back in the 60s. This area right here was Pleasant Valley and 2000 Maniacs. Right about here is where the Welcome to Pleasant Valley Centennial, April 1865 to April 1965 banner was hanging right across New York Ave in downtown St. Cloud. Right here you can see all the people congregating next to the store. The two gentlemen were standing right there at the crosswalk. The Hunter's Arms Hotel can be seen on the side on the right. Right about here is where you can see the gentlemen walking, holding the Confederate flags, planting them, getting ready for their big celebration. In his mind, the South will rise again. Now I think they could have gotten up top here on this building for the next shot because it was looking down somewhere in this area. They probably had a crane, but you could see the Hunter's Arm Hotel, that crosswalk, this whole area, and all the guys were gathered around, all the town folk were gathered around waiting for their guest. Right there that crosswalk was also where the guests had pulled up and they were talking to the mayor and he was trying to explain to them what was going on with the centennial. There's a close-up shot. You can see the banner right above his head and then right behind him the Hunter Arms Hotel. They put a little sign. It says on the hotel sign Hunter a and there's one of the confederate flags r and m so it said hunter as hotel a s i'm wondering if they did that on purpose but the top of the hunter arms hotel looks the exact same right behind the the mayor's head if you can see those windows up there these were the different windows for the different rooms that they had the guests the centennial hanging out in you can see each person had a shot of them looking out the window with the Confederate flags right next to them. And now we are here at the front of the Hunter Arms Hotel. A lot of scenes took place right here at the entrance. You can see the gentleman with the rope for a belt and his girl standing right there. It had entrance painted on that little wall right there to the guy's right. And on the window behind him, it had the letters E-L-E-R. Not sure what the rest of the word was. But they were standing right there. And now I think I'm going to walk inside the hotel. Doors open. We'll see what we can find. So this is the hotel lobby. The biggest misconception is that this fireplace was the one in the film. In fact, it is not. There was a different fireplace that they used in 2000 Maniacs, but this staircase is the same staircase that they used. You can see it pretty much looks the exact same. The window's been boarded up there at the bottom, but that's the staircase and the guys would have been right down there next to the piano just hanging out. The gentleman right there would have been holding up the magazine sitting right next to that door. And right here is where the gentleman would have been on the phone. They would have all been laughing. Pretty amazing. The Hunter Arms Hotel. The famous staircase right there. So now we are at the top of the staircase here at the Hunter Arms Hotel. So right on this hall is where they were trying to get out without anybody noticing. And this is the exact spot right here. The gentleman with the guitar would have been sitting right there against the wall. She walked out of that room right there. And the reason I know this is because, look to the right, right across from the gentleman, it's the fire hose, it's a little fire extinguisher. And right here is what's left of that. They hooked this up 
if they have a fire. It's like a little water spout. There's also fire extinguishers here, too, as you can see. But that means that this room right here, if, if I am right, number 235 is the room from 2000 Maniacs. And you can see she would have peeked her head right out here. The camera would have been right there. The gentleman would have been sitting right here. And that door down there can be seen at the end of the hall. Which also means if we walk down here, this should be the back of the hotel where the guy and girl were trying to do their escape, which is gonna be the next shot that I will show you guys. Yep, this is it. They would have come out this door and walked right down the staircase. And I'll show you guys where that scene was shot right now. And if you've ever wondered what it's like to walk down the stairs, in the Hunter's Arms Hotel, this is it. Just like in the film, walking down the stairs. Except no one's waiting on me down here for a centennial celebration. I guess that's a good thing. Next spot's gonna take place here on the backside of the Hunter's Arms Hotel. Right up there, that's where the guy and the girl would have opened the door, trying to make their escape out the back. They would have come down those stairs right here and passed by the little garden area they had still here behind the Hunter Arms Hotel. And right here is the shot with the gentleman walking down the street. You can see where it says Hunter Arms Hotel. That wall has been added. But the staircase and everything is still pretty much the exact same. It was white back when filming the staircase was white it's now black and the door underneath the staircase is a little different the awnings no longer there but this is it so they would have ran out the top of that down those stairs and headed right over here and there's another scene that was shot against this little tiny building that's still here so basically where i'm standing to the left of that window would have been another building or a gate some kind of side of a wall was there but you can see the pipe is still here the drainage pipe in that window also pay attention down to the bottom of that window that metal piping can also be seen and the brick he would have been crouched down right there to the left of that piping with the girl and the little boy with the noose in his hand would have been standing right next to that window there And there was a shot right here with a gentleman looking at the boy talking to him. The same material that this is made out of, the brick, and the way it like has indentions in it is still the same since 1963. And that piping can be seen right below his chin. The ants you see there on the wall, they were not here back in 1963. Or maybe they were, you never know. Check that out. A little photograph of... 2,000 Maniacs right here on the wall. There's another one right there at the check-in desk. And one of the mayor. We're about to go find that fireplace right now. So the fireplace is technically inside a restaurant right now. Thankful that the staff of the restaurant were excited about the project I was doing. Let me come inside and get this video for you all to see. Take a look at the fireplace, and then I'll put the shot right here of the mayor. He was sitting down, looking through his papers. And in this photograph, he's actually licking his finger. About to turn the page. This is also the famous scene where they tied down the girl on the table and went to cut her up. The guy got the ax from the fireplace there. And one of the most famous scenes of the movie that definitely set the tone of exactly what H.G. Lewis wanted to portray in this film was right here, in my opinion. You see a lot of influence in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from this scene. The famous fireplace, the wall behind it, the way it's indented is, it's still the same. It's pretty amazing. So the fireplace is actually located right here inside this restaurant. If you go straight inside the door and go straight to the back, you will see the famous fireplace. Right behind me is the park that was used for the scene. 
where they had the lady lie down underneath the big boulder. The gentlemen were taking turns throwing the baseball, trying to hit the bullseye, just like you would at a carnival. When they hit the bullseye, the boulder would fall down and this is the location. In typical Florida fashion, it rained recently, so this is very, very wet. Gonna do the best I can to show you guys exactly where the area was. A group of people were standing right over here next to the attraction. You can see that building right behind them. And then that means right over here is where the boulder contrapment was. There was another crane shot. You can see the bench, the park bench up there to the left is still here after all these years. The boulder would have been right up here somewhere. There's a shot of the gentleman grabbing the lady by the arm trying to get her to lay down. You can see that tree and the bench to the left. This is the spot right here, which means she would have been laying down somewhere right in this area. So basically where we are standing right now is where the town folk of Pleasant Valley were looking straight ahead at the boulder attraction. The look on their face when the rock, the big boulder falls down on the girl. They were stoked. Another scene that was shot in this location was where the telephone booth was, the red old school telephone booth and the gentleman was making a phone call and he was talking to the mayor on the telephone. Somewhere around here they placed that telephone. Was trying to find exactly where it is. A lot of the palm trees were removed, but there are a few right over here in this location. Was also looking for a flagpole. The only flagpoles I can see are the ones right over here. But in this photograph still you can see some palm trees and the flags. Maybe they placed it right around here somewhere. But this is the field, nonetheless, where that scene took place. Here's another shot. You can see the Hunter Arms Hotel and the banner would have been right about there going across the street. Pleasant Valley. And right here one of the last scenes you can see the gentleman on the ladder there, the two guys against the pole. I believe they were taken down there. Banner, the centennial was over. A few got away, a few, a few didn't, but this is where the folk of Pleasant Valley had their celebration. And that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed hunting down the filming locations from the 1964 cult horror classic, 2000 Maniacs. H.G. Lewis, thank you so much for this. If you enjoyed this episode, click the thumbs up button, subscribe, see you guys on the next episode of Hello Horror Fans. Until then, happy haunts.